Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chino's Comics and More. Again, my name is Chino. This is Manny. What's up, YouTube? Guys, don't forget to West the subscribe button, hoax smash the like button, Superman punch the notification bell, and don't forget to share, guys. All right, guys, this is gonna be pretty cool, man. So, I'm not a little kid anymore, but my mom still buys some stuff. So, this is pretty cool because usually my mom goes to like a thrift store, an antique store, and I've always told her, if you find any books, you know, any comic books, you know, please, you know, let me know or just buy them. So, there's specific things that I told her to look for. Yeah, just going back on stuff, she buys a small shirt, as you can <laughs> see. So, um, yeah, so, you know, like Manny was saying, my mom, she's she's always going to see us as little kids. Yeah. Um, especially me, I'm, I'm not that tall. I'm, I am, I'm like 5'10", 5'11". This guy's like 6'3". No, no, he's not. Okay, but, um, so, Manny, you know, Manny's always telling my mom, Mom, if you're going to buy us something... If you're gonna buy comic books, make sure you look for these specifics. Yeah, so like I've always told her, like, you know, she knows who like Superman is or Batman and stuff like that. But I told her, you don't wanna really look too much into the character. I mean, it's a good key thing to look for, but I always told her, look for the, the value of the book. So for instance, I'm gonna give you an example. You know, I told her, look for, for like a, a 15 cent, 12 cent. You know, the lower the, lower, the better. So. You know, just kind of give you guys a little backstory. She re recently went to a Goodwill and she found a whole bunch of books. And, you know, I guess it's pretty cool because my birthday's coming up and she bought me a stack of books. And it's not she recently went to Goodwill. My mom loves going to that thrift store. Yeah. Since we were kids, and, and we'll tell you there's a story behind it. Um, when we were kids, believe it or not, we owned an X-Men, you know, the first, the first X-Men one. Yeah. And we picked it up at a Goodwill. You know, we picked it up at, at a thrift store. Yeah. Um, so there's times where you can find good books. So um, going back to that, yeah. So, you know, she's always there and, and she's always either buying buying those um, like, 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 you know, shorts, I, you know, from there or whatever. She's always buying us something. She always feels like she needs to buy something. From and when, and well, for me, like she'll buy either comic books or even action figures. I'm a, I love collecting action figures. So. You know, I just, oh, again, not true. He likes playing with toys. <laughs> and, you know, I try to, you know, again, I just try to kind of coach her a little bit on what to look for. And, and, you know, you know, come to find out, you know, she came back with a stack of books. And the cool thing about it is there's a few, I haven't researched all these books, but there's a few key books in here. And I was really surprised at it because some of these books I don't currently own. So this is going to be a, a pretty, pretty good little haul. Yeah. Video. Yeah. So I'm going to go through it, you know, guys, kind of quick. Um, you know, and I will we'll spend time on books that I am familiar with. But for instance, this is a Superboy. It's uh, number 12, 50 cents. Okay. The next book is Superman, number 260, 20 cents. And it looks like it might have water damage or something because it looks like it's kind of crumbled up a bit. But I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's, it's a Superman book. And it's just a mix of stuff, guys. Then we have Captain America, 254. 50 cents. Another Superman book, 287, 25 cents. Okay, and this is kind of like a newer book, Web of Spider-Man, number 102, $1.25. So and she knows Spider-Man, my mom yeah. knows Spider-Man, so she knows to pick up anything that has Spider-Man in there. Yeah, and because she knows I'm trying to complete my run, so Again, she didn't. She doesn't know what Amazing Spider-Man is, Spectacular Spider-Man is, but she sees Spider-Man and she figures, you know, I'm just gonna get it for him, and I'm I'm okay with that. And if it's not for him, she's buying it for for the kids. Yeah, and this is I guess it's two books, and this one's Shadow Riders, and The Punisher. Um, I'm not familiar with these books. With these, the back of that. It's, it's a good stack, though. I mean, honestly, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, again, it's just books that are going to... I'm going to have to go through them and check what they are. This is Warlock and Infinity Watch, number one, $1.75. So, again, that's it's just a mix. It looks like it's a more newer book. And we've always told her, my mom, look for, like, a number one on there yeah. or, like, when you see the collector stuff on there. Yeah. So she, she, she does good. She does, I mean, yeah, this is, this is cable number one. $3.50. Another 
That's pretty cool. Then saber tooth number one, two ninety five. And of course she knows she knows these guys, and she knows this is Chino's favorite team. This is X Men. What's she doing buying you there? I mean, she just bought. She just grabbed the books. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then now we're going back to DC. It looks like Boy Commandos number one for twenty cents. I've never heard of that one. But again, it's just some research I got to do. This is Black Hawk, two thirty four, twelve cents. So you, again, you know, she knows to look for that, which is pretty cool. This is Ripley's Believe It or Not. 15 cents, True Demons and Monsters. Again, I'm not familiar with this book, but it's... it's. Oh, you did a research guy. You yeah. have research to do, but... World's Finest, 242, 30 cents. And she knows Superman. So she's going to pick up Superman. And then this is a actually a pretty cool looking yellow cover, man. It's yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> Would have been nice if it was Action Comics number one, huh? Oof. This is Spectre number nine. 12 cents, that's pretty cool. Again, you know, she's 12 cents, I mean, that'll work. Marvel Team of Spider-Man and Moon Knight, 144. This is 60 cents. Spider-Man and Captain Marvel, and there's actually two copies of this one. 142, I'll just put them together. But there's two, two copies there. Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man and Iron Man, 30 cents, number 49, pretty cool. And these are cool, man, I like the, the Team Ups, man. Yeah, and this is Marvel Super Heroes featuring the Incredible Hulk, number 99, 50 cents. So it's actually featuring me. Yeah, yeah, right. And she knows the Hulk. I mean, I am the Hulk. He's not the Hulk. This is Marvel Super Heroes featuring the Incredible Hulk, number 94. Another 50 center. Looks more like Bruce Banner, huh? <laughs> Bruce Banner. <laughs> Probably got the smarts like Bruce Banner. And he got he got the dumbs like the Hulk. And also big like the Hulk. Yeah, no, no. This is uh the Incredible Hulk, Marvel Superheroes, number 91, 50 cents. Sorry if I twisted that. I know I've seen this cover. This is um Iron Man 150. I mean, it's pretty cool. It has Dr. Doom and Iron Man. So that's really cool. And then, <laughs> this is pretty cool too. These are like, they're in good condition. Tomb of Dracula, number 16. And Tomb of Dracula, number 9. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I think some of these, um, this is, man, would have been nice if she would have got number 10. Number 9? She's one, I mean, it's one off. Can't complain, dude. I mean, she didn't spend much money. No, no, no. This. I mean, if it would have been there, it would have been pretty cool, cool too. Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, number 31, 12 cents. Okay. Then we have Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, number 32, 12 center. I've seen this cover. I think this is probably a, a good book. I'll, I'll, I'll have to research all this. Honestly, I haven't had time, guys. We've been super busy, and we just had a live show with, with Buter, so that was pretty cool. So, yeah, so if you guys didn't catch the Buter live show, man, you guys need to go watch that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and most of you guys that, that are uh, always watching our channel, you, you guys know the big news, so. Yeah, so it was a pretty big reveal for us. Then we have Invisible Iron Man, number 38, 15 center. Then we have Sea Devils, number 19, 12 center. Robin Hood, 10 center. And this is when Manny was dressed up as Halloween <laughs> nah. this past year. This is pretty cool. Mephisto versus the Avengers, number four. Dollar fifty cents. I mean Mephisto, it's there's a lot of spec with him. But it's not Silver Surfer number four, but still. That's a nice looking book too. Masters of Kung Fu, 116. 60 center. Here goes another team up. Marvel team of Spider-Man and Satana, number 81. It is actually a 40 center. Cool, cool. Marvel team up Spider Man and Iron Man. 48, number 20, and 25 cents. Again, she, Spider Man, so 
She, she knows I love Spider-Man. Marvel Team with Spider-Man, the Machine Man, number 99, 50 Center. Just look, it's a cartoon. Heckle and Jekyll, 15 Center. That's pretty cool. My kids will love that. I mean, I, I just got to research it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not an expensive book <laughs> and they go crazy with it. This is, uh, have you... That's a horror book, huh? Yeah. Have you the nerve to face the unexpected? 20 Center. Pretty cool. This one's interesting. Weird Science, number 15. One dollar. Then we have Fantastic Four. 194. Yeah, maybe we can trade these two Fantastic Four for... Uh... Legends, no oh, one. <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. I didn't see that. Hey, two for one. Legend, if you're watching the show, we'll trade these two for your number one, bro. Yeah. That's a good deal. Even trade, huh? Master Kung Fu, number 91, 40 Center. And she probably picked out these books because she knows Chino thinks he's uh, the Karate Kid. Well, man, he's dressed up like Jackie Chan, so. <laughs> he wishes. All right, now we have Master of Kung Fu, number 48, 30 Center. Oh man, is that Coke 181? Huh? Oh man, this is crazy. Incredible Hulk number 185. Man, that's a deceiving that been, cover. Man. That would have been crazy, man. This is pretty cool. Alpha Flight number one. Hey, I, I, I won't confuse me, honestly. Now, these two last books, I know, I know what they are. I'm familiar with these two books, and it's crazy because we have multiple copies of this one. This is the, the Eternals number one. So that alone is a pretty good pickup. Yeah, and this is a spec book. So, man, if you can pick up this book, I would say pick it up. It's yeah. still pretty affordable. This one here, I mean, a lot of these books are not in bad condition. No. Nah. This one here, Manuel, we were talking about it. And I couldn't man, believe it, guys. You know, this one, this one's got a, a high grade, man. It looks, it looks pretty, pretty good. The only issue I saw was probably one little spine tick. And the rest of it is like it can be pressable. I mean, honestly, this book is in really good condition. So this is it's a big W, guys. And then to top it off, this one here. This one's a little beat up, guys. I'm not gonna lie, he's a little beat up. But this is another key book. This is an awesome book. This is you know what's funny about this book is that this guy's been searching for this book. Yeah. And by dumb luck, because he's dumb and lucky. Nah. They ran into this book. Yeah, well, I mean, again, my mom just picked out all the books. This is Mortal Spotlight number five. And as you guys may know, this is Ghost Rider's first appearance. Yeah. Now, again, it's not it's not in really, really great condition. It looks like it's a, a lower grade, but I'm happy with that, especially for what she paid. And she, I mean, she basically said, here you go. Happy birthday. Yeah. And so it worked out. I mean, honestly, this is just crazy to begin with, but I mean, this is... This alone is probably like a, in it's this like condition, a $200 book. Yeah, it's probably like a $200 book. That's a big W, guys. I mean, and again, I, I, I don't own this book. Now I do, so that's a big plus, man. Yeah, especially for what she paid for. Because I can tell you right now, she knows everyone at the store. Yeah, she probably like so 20 bucks. I'm not top sure. So <laughs> on top of it being cheap to start with, she gets a senior citizen discount and she gets <laughs> more discounts. But, yeah, but check out this book, guys. I mean, again, we'll finish it off with that, guys. Again, guys, this pickup was crazy. I mean, my mom just bought all these books. When I started going through it, this was towards the end, honestly. And when I saw it, I said, Mom, you hit a home run. I mean, you, you, you knocked out the park. And she doesn't understand who he is, whatever the case is. But it was just it was just a crazy pickup, man. So Yeah. I, I guess the moral of the story is, your mom's out there shopping for you guys. At thrift stores or, or antique stores, man. Let, let them know, man. Let, let them know what, what what to look for. Look, yeah. this is, you know, this is a good, good pickup. This one, Eternals 1, yeah, that's Alpha enough. Fly, you, got, you got a few number ones here. So, I mean, you got a lot of stuff that we don't know. But at the end of the day, man, I mean, you know, this is still out. These, these kind of things are out there, man. Yeah. People always talk about that. They're in garage sales, antique stores, thrift stores. This is This is like living proof man that that is out there yeah. and it's it's dumb it's crazy because you know i would say dumb it's crazy too 
and dumb in a way because we're always going to comic book shops. You're mm-hmm. always going to conventions. You're always like, oh man, some people forget about, you know, the, the half half price bookstores, right? Half price books, people forget about the garage sales, the estate sales, um, you know, in this case, you know, like antique stores, uh, thrift stores. stores. Um, and you know what, guys, I guess at least to, to, to just this in general, you know, communicating and just letting people know that you aren't interested in comic books and you'd be surprised, you know, when something might pop up or when someone, someone would let you know, like, hey, you know what, I know this guy that collects comic books. If you want to go check it out, you know, he's trying to get rid of them. You just don't know. I guess what I guess what I'm trying to say is you can search for these, for these things. They're out there. And sometimes you will just get lucky. And in this case, this is luck. And I'm glad. And it looks like my birthday is pretty much complete. So other than that, guys, we're out.